Hi, welcome back to Cookbook Club virtually. Uh, today we are going to make a lovely fall dish called uh, butternut squash puff. Uh, it's great for Thanksgiving or Christmas or just any fall holiday. So what you're going to need is some butternut squash and you can use a package of frozen, just make sure it's thawed, or you can use fresh. If you're gonna use fresh, um, I happen to steam mine just for about uh, five minutes just to make it a little softer. You also need uh, three beaten eggs, two cups of milk, a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, you'll need some cinnamon, and you'll need some apricot preserves. And you'll need two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay. So basically, it's one of those dump and mix type of things. So you have your butternut squash all set to go. So now we're going to add our eggs. And we're going to add the milk, flour, we need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, do the sugar. Butter, and then we need our apricot preserves. Now we're going to give this a good mix. Make sure everything's blended together. You're going to need a two quart casserole dish and I'm going to spray that really, really well. I don't want anything sticking to it because this is going to get messy. So we're going to take our mixture here and just pour it right into our cast prepared casserole dish. going to be baking it in the oven at uh, 350 degrees. You're going to start off baking it for uh, about what was it? We're going to bake it for 45 minutes. Then we're going to take it out. We're going to stir it because it's going to be a little bit loose. We want to blend it a little bit more and then we're going to bake it a little bit more. All right. So I will show you that when it is done after that first 45 minutes, I'll take it out. We'll mix it up again and then we'll put it back in the oven. All right. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, now we've taken the puff out of the oven. We're going to give it a good mix and then we're going to put it back in. Because as you can see, it's a bit lumpy. And then we'll put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes and then we'll show you when it's all done. All right, so here's the finished product. Yep, it's gonna be a little burnt on the side there. All right, so a little too hot to eat right now, but this is a great dish for Thanksgiving and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.